Today I'm covering a Kleenex box to make it into a Christmas delivery box. Come on in. Hello everybody, it's Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps. And I am going to be covering a Kleenex box um, to upcycle it into a delivery package for cards for donation for Christmas. And I thought y'all might like to see how I do that. Now, I've gone ahead and pulled uh, the box apart at the glue spots. And then I have cut it to where this side matches this side. This is the original height on this flap. <clears throat> and so I cut these two strips here down to match that height so that when you put the box back together then it'll all be flush around the top you see so that was the first step and unfortunately i i did that before i realized that you all probably might like to see me do another box now i have found that this size box and this happens to be a cracker box but the kleenex box and the cracker box are both about the same size and they hold a two size cards very very nicely for delivery so let's get started today well first of all on my Christmas cards this year I think what I'm going to try to do is to uh, bulk produce my inside sheet and that way it will just be easier to finish because where I get bogged down in my studio is I get the fronts all finished and I might get the little inside piece of trim done but then I don't have them finished up on the inside so I have a lot of steps to finish on the inside I'm gonna go ahead and put these um, in these so that in the end you can see how nice this box will look with Christmas cards in it so this is my go-to uh, glue stick and it's a pioneer photo glue stick and you can see it has a nice big fat glue surface there and so that's the one that I like to use. Now I will be using my Speedball Baron to help me push the paper on uh, and I'm using this little Teflon mat because this glue stick is very very sticky and if it gets on surfaces like my um, scored mat here um, it's kind of a challenge to get it off. One of the reasons why I like to use these Kleenex boxes is because you can cut a 12 by 12 sheet down to let's see this is 11 just a little bit 11 plus maybe a 16th of an inch and that way you have enough to fold over now I've gone ahead on this and put my extra sticky tape um, on the top surfaces of the inside of this box and I will need to burnish those down um, so I'm going to just go ahead and do that right now it makes pulling that outside layer off the tape a, a, a lot easier and this is half inch uh, tape and I maybe will regret that because I'm not sure I have quite enough to wrap around but we'll see so I decided to do polka dots because I had some scraps left over and so I made this little uh, tree farm tag for the front of it with a little truck. This was a, a little small scrap of paper and I just fussy cut it. And then I have some other scraps of these little snowmen that I thought would be fun just to trim out the rest of the box. So let's get started and I'm going to glue to this side of that paper and see this is um, that piece there that I fixed so let me glue my box and I just put glue all over oh one more thing before we get started with that I have put some guidelines down for myself here and here and a little stripe here and here so that when I to set my paper down I can get it placed where I have as much wrap as I possibly could and like I said I probably should have made this 
paper 11 and a quarter or 11 and a half but we'll see sometimes it's a little work in progress when you start again for the year and I'll need to make four or five of these and of course I don't have quite enough Kleenex boxes staved up so I'll have to be looking for some other um, opportunities for cutting down boxes I don't finish the inside what I have found is it uh, really adds a little bit too much bulk to the inside and then the cards get a little challenged to actually fit down in there so I stopped doing um, the inside the reason I started doing these boxes this way is because I would send things that I was trying to get rid of backs, uh, baskets and boxes and what have you well the folks would save and send them back <laughs> save them and send them back to me so I kind of stopped doing that now I've gotten some glue stick on my mat so I'm going to move that along over here to the side and bring my paper back in now I'm going to glue to the underside of this paper and I have marked a one and a two here and a one and a two on my paper there's a one and a two here so that's where I want to start and so I'm going to put it down over here on the edge and you'll see I've got a little line right there and one right here and then lay it down and it should just lay right down fine there we go good deal now I'm going to flip it over and use my speedball baron to get some good contact going and of course you could use your bone folder and what have you what I find though uh, with this paper is when you use a bone folder to do this sometimes where those uh, creases in the box were you get a little shiny point and uh, I try not to to do it that way so now that's glued down well now I'm going to cut straight alongside the um, Kleenex box except for these spots that are next to the glue that I'm going to wrap back over that makes sense but everything else just gets a little snip snip where the box itself goes Now these are very easy to cover and it's a good use of um, a good reuse I suppose I should say of a box that you probably were just going to throw in the bin anyway so you can make something that is a little fun I know a lot of my followers make cards to donate so that's always a good thing it's a worthwhile cause to I think to donate to a nursing home or senior center or a uh, hospital ward or whatever you donate to because I, I'm pretty sure that most of you all are like me you make more cards than you can possibly send yourself and so you're always looking for an opportunity to make more cards because <laughs> that's what we enjoy doing isn't it I know it is for me at any rate I love sending them but I really love making them let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see more of these because I probably as I said will be making uh, several more now I will get my bone folder back 
and just kind of uh, break the edge along through here so that it wraps well and all I'm doing is holding that cardboard down and bending the paper up so that it'll round over all right and then I'm going to start that bend and kind of break these uh, fibers on the paper loose just a little bit and where where you see the the bend coming here and then I'm going to put a little snip on these two sides that have a wrap around okay and we'll do that on all four all four sides just kind of break that paper fiber loose where it'll wrap for you and then break it loose here and just be easy so you don't crack your paper snip down in here and I'm just going to create a little bit of ease where when it folds uh, we can flop it over if we need to okay and get this other side done and in putting the box flaps back together I probably will just go ahead and use my art glitter glue you can use uh, double stick tape but as I said, these boxes don't have to hold for long. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap these edges over. On all four sides. And you'll be pleased, I think, at how quickly this little box gets to the point of being able to be decorated. Because it just doesn't take much time at all especially if you've already kind of bent your paper up where it'll fold in for you just fine. There. Now there's just a little bit of that glue sticking out on this side. So what I'm going to do is I want to take my sand eraser and I'm just going to rub that adhesive just a little bit and pull some of the sticky off of it. And that's really all you have to do. There. Now it's not going to be sticky anymore. These are a little, they're called Sandy Racer. Uh, they're Tombow. Uh, it's 512A. They, these are great to have in your toolbox, especially for this kind of thing. Now let's see, we're going to bend these over and get a good bend on them now. And there we go. And then these fold in just like it did originally and then this comes up to glue and there's going to be our little box. So. I'm going to put glue here and I'm going to use these little alligator clips I think to clip it until it dries. push push down with my fingers you probably can't see that on the on the uh, camera I don't know there and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side I 
I need to get some more clips. Hang on just a second. This is another thing I keep over in my Gray Mercy cart uh, on the other table just to have handy for these kinds of things because it's kind of like having an extra pair of hands and they're very, very helpful. There. And then I'm going to just do the same thing, push it in there and hold it for just a second till that glue makes good contact. Now, we'll just leave that and work on the outside edge here. I'm just going to glue this on. And this is just some 85, excuse me, it's 80 pound. I'm used to getting 65 pound, and this time it was 80 pound uh, cardstock that I have used for a base for this little uh, topper that I made. Some of these little guys wrapped around the top might be fun, but I really am thinking that might just be enough. For a little delivery box, let's see, I may want to do a little band let's just try that and see we might really like it and then again we might decide next time we're not going to do it <laughs> i'm just never sure about these kind of things how well they're going to do so it's easier now i will say this it's easier if you wrap either around the top or around the bottom than around the middle because it's easy to kind of travel up on you and not realize it. And on this particular uh, pattern, I will have to do a little splice and we'll wrap that from the back then. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a splice on this. And basically kind of just make a glued on belly band if you will and I want to kind of have this little guy in the middle of the back I think so I think I'll start there and then, well, I think I'll start in the middle of the back. I kind of got off camera, didn't I? And then come around this way as best I can and kind of meet up. So that'll be the first step is getting this on, glued onto the back so that I can get, let the glue kind of help me hold it a little bit. Sometimes the finishing of these is a little challenging and then other times it goes along just fine i never know when i start what it's going to end up like because i don't plan them out too terribly much and i think i'm going to cut this right at that line there so that it doesn't extend up into the front that won't extend up into the front view that way 
so let me go ahead and get some glue on this. And then I'm just going to use that uh, line right there and cut cut to it just a little bit more, I think. There. And then put some glue on it. And then I know that the little girl that I send this to will probably use this on her desk over the holidays. And she'll have candy in it or all manner of stuff. And so that's all ready to go then. Now, let's see how the cards uh, look in it. So give me just a minute to get those finished up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the cards all packaged up and I, I did not seal them you'll notice um, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't it just depends on where they're going but there's six cards in here and this box will hold 25 uh, cards if they're not if they don't have a lot of dimension now I decided that I wanted to put a little bow down here so I'm going to make a double twine bow and I'm going to double it so that it has four tails and wrap it twice and tie it off that way. I thought it just would add a little extra bit of whimsy to the box. And there we go. And there it is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay. Now I'm just going to put that on with a glue dot. And because the back of this is large enough, I don't think I even need to roll that. Well, yep, yeah, looks like I will. I'll just roll it up in half, I think. That full-size glue dot was just a little bit too big. And then I'm just going to put it right down here. There. Okay, well let me know in the comments what you think about my little box. It was easy to make. Oops. And it'll hold 25 cards. So I hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll be working on some inside um, sentiments uh, for Christmas cards later on today. So that's my project for this afternoon. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you have a great week. Bye-bye.